personal training has changed so much in the last 13 years that when we started, we did not have the privilege of the tools now available. And what I have to really understand and give the credit now to is a sharper learning curve. And even with a sharper learning curve, it's still going to take a lot of time trainers. So everything that we talk about, you still got to use, you still got to produce, you got to repeat, you got to try and own it your own way. So when we talk about a systematic approach, you still can't leave you out of it. You got to own it. And the first thing that we like to talk about is organization. Trainers are sloppy. I'm one myself. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't track where you are, you never know where you're going. And on top of that, I'd like to say I'm pretty darn good at motivating, inspiring, and getting results for people. But I can't get better at it if I can't say to myself, what could I do better each time? With that said, I also might have a mentor group around me and support myself with people that are in the same industry I am. Because I'll tell you one thing, if you're at the top, you're only going to fall if you don't have people around you trying to keep, keep showing you another level. And that's where I owe privilege to really try to start a community, a culture that you could become part of and really build and expand and really try to push this industry of personal training in a better way. And why is that said? Because this is the first industry in my eyes that really never got focused on as much as it should have been probably 15 years ago. Trainers were always the redheaded stepchild. And unfortunately, trainers are the future. But the owner must understand and appreciate that. And you as a trainer must appreciate the owner. Well, and, you say and, 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 and two things. I would talk about opportunity you know, in the fitness industry, I guess. I'll mention that real quick. You know, There's close to back in 2007, I can't remember the source, but... Uh, it's a 300 million people that live in the United States, of which only 15% of them are actually members of a health club. Wow. So you're talking, you're talking about 85% of the population has nothing to do with health club. That doesn't mean that they don't exercise. They, just, they, don't, just, they don't exercise in a health club. Okay, so that's exactly it. So with that, so many, with, with that many people that are, are not part of a health club, I mean, it's a, a tremendous amount of opportunity to really make an impact on, on a society. And we, and we all know the society is 70% of our 67, 70% of Americans are certainly overweight, and of which 40% are clinically obese. You know, you talk about systems and, and, and repeating things. You know, I've, been, I've been selling fitness now for, for nine years, and, and I still miss people. Remember that. For nine years. So I, I, how many people have I sat down with? Thousands. I mean, it, seriously, thousands. From the time I was 18, 19 years old, I'm 27 now. It's a long, long, long time, and I still miss people. However, the only way to get better and better and better is to repeat. Get down or get in front of as many people as possible and repeat that, 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 that session. Now, here's the thing. You're going to get burned out. Why do we get burned out? Just work. Go back to the reasons why you do what you do. So repeat. But when you repeat it, you must have one you must have one, I guess, confident thing in mind. That is, the whatever whatever system that you use, you must never doubt it. That's and this is why the the body works approach to to selling fitness is is it's nothing that I've ever seen. It's 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 it's, it's almost like a hundred percent replica to what we do our, at our club. And I never doubt the system. What I will doubt is the person that's using the system, but not the system in, in itself. So my point is. Repeat the system over and over and over and over again until you make it work. Not quit after the first two or three, four times to do it and say, well, screw this. I'm going to try a different way. Don't try a different way. Try the same way. Just do it a thousand times. And I can't say enough. Mike knows his business like a professional, and he is. But in basketball and football, they all have a playbook. Sure. And the coach doesn't allow them to go off that play. It's right. not because he wants to control you. It's he wants to see you succeed. So if you don't look at the structure as your pathway to success, right. Right. you are your worst enemy. And for some reason, when things don't work, people say, oh, not in my city, right. not in my club. Or, or, or here's what, what I hear a lot. You know, Mike, the, the, this, this system or this process doesn't work in my market. You know, my, my market is just, uh, it, it's way poor. People in my market don't buy personal training. Listen, it's not the market. It's not the economy. It is your attitude. That's what's not working. The systems work. Your attitude doesn't work. You need to go back and figure out why you're in this industry. 
And then when you figure that out, then you need to go back to the club and fire people up because you're in this industry to make an impact, to make a difference. And when that shines through, people will find money to make things work. See, we all have a budget. And if this, if this was my budget in a box right here, right, I, I have a budget. And, and see, in my budget, I got things such as eating out. I got things such as, you know, for, for women, obviously, getting their hair done, nails done. All of those things are part of the budget. When it comes to personal training, we think it's a luxury. You know what a luxury is? Getting your nails done. You know what a luxury is? Is going to the movies. What's not a luxury is a way of life. That's What's nice. not a luxury is being able to have the energy, the 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 uh, have the have the able to being able to be motivated to get out of war, uh, to get out of uh, bed in the morning and and thank God that today is Monday versus oh my God I can't believe it's another Monday and it's all because you think in your minds and of course the customer thinks in their minds that it's not in their budget to afford it that i don't have extra money to play with when it is in the budget but what the conversation that you must have with them is in order for you to get anywhere in life something's got to give you got to sacrifice to get something in return and you got to remember one thing <clears throat> if that prospect or that client sitting in front of you is 35 or 40 years of age and you looked at him and said what if i could tell you your life doesn't get better from here right how would you feel about that What's you that must, in, you? yeah, you must invest in your health. Without it, you're nothing. And the trainers, please understand, your passion must be conveyed right. with a communication that gets across to my mother, not to you. Right, and, and remember, the, and the most important thing, and we talk about repeat, and, and the whole topic of this conversation is, is, is systematic Systems. approach, right? So when you repeat the system, the biggest thing you never doubt is this system. What you need to doubt is your ability you need to doubt your attitude that's the biggest thing you doubt and then if you ever doubt your ability go back to these some of these videos and learn how you should do it and go back and try it again in other words you try until you succeed you don't try one time you say screw it and this is how i'm going to leave you trainers i was out of 80 trainers when i first started i don't know where i was but i did climb to the top and this is my attitude that got me there this is my house i'm the best and i'm going to prove it jam